Let's say we're going to exhaust out the gases, right? If you look at the output shaft, you can see how it's angled here, right? The kind of the pointy bit, right? It's kind of like this. So as we turn the output shaft, the piston comes up, it's exhausting those gases. You are now at top dead center. All of your exhaust gases are gone. But look, your output shaft has only rotated 90 degrees, right? It just went from here to here. That gives you 270 degrees left for your power stroke to now capture that flame front and apply it to the output shaft, right? So you're capturing it and you're applying torque and more torque and more torque and more torque and there's more torque and still more torque and still more torque. Now you're at bottom dead center and you're ready to very quickly do the next step and come back up and do it again. Each non-circular gear profile, we would adjust based on your specific application and what you're trying to attempt to do, right? So for instance, uh, if you have a race engine and it's running 9,000 RPMs and you keep grenading it and keeps blowing up, what we could do for you, I wouldn't want to run non-circular gears at 9,000 RPMs. What we can do is create the same output at two or 3,000 RPMs less. Now you've got the same power that you were happy with before and you're not blowing up your engine anymore, right? We think this also has lots of OEM applications, right? They have new emission standards they're gonna have to meet, the 2025 CAFE standards.